Here we love DIY projects, and today for the first time I'll be assembling another maker's project. This is the N32B from Chic. They kindly sent me one to assemble and I loved it. So let's get started. Chic is a company from Israel that started in a really familiar way. Chico did a controller for him, but then decided to put in the market. His idea was to make a DIY MIDI controller that anyone could assemble easily, but also with super high quality. It has 32 assignable knobs that can be personalized in its web editor, and also it has buttons and a display that you can use to change between MIDI channels and presets. It comes with the PCB, all the components, and an anodized aluminum face plate. And if you want, you can get his walnut enclosure. He didn't send me one though. Because I am planning on making mine. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can assemble the N32B. And if you stay until the end, I'm going to give you a special coupon that Chico sent to the Nerd Musician followers, if you want to get one too. So, let's get started.
Okay, so now it's time to see if our N32B controller is working. So first thing I'm gonna do is loading MIDI monitor. So MIDI monitor is a software for you to monitor the MIDI incoming message. So you can see whatever software is sending what here. So here in my MIDI sources, I already found my chic and 32 b So if I move something, I should see the message. So you can see that it's sending channel one and each knob is actually sending two uh, MIDI control change at the same time. This is because it's sending a high resolution controller. So it's actually sending a 14 bit message instead of a seven bit message, which means that you get instead of zero to 127, you get zero to 16,383, if I'm not mistaken. And here with these two buttons, you can change the MIDI channel. So channel two, three, and you're gonna have up to 16, uh, MIDI channels, which means you can map the same knob to 16 different parameters in your DAW and change which parameter you are controlling when you change the MIDI channel. So when I was talking with Chico from Chic, he told me that my firmware was probably outdated so I could update this firmware so it can do the other stuff that he uh, made for the controller. So let's do this here now. So let's Come here and firmware update. And here you can find the instructions for you to update the firmware in your controller. So although it's an Arduino Pro Micro in there, you're not going to program this Arduino uh, with the Arduino IDE. Chico made everything way easier. So you can do in the browser just using his uh, web editor. But for that, we're going to update the firmware in the way he tells us here. So we need to reset the Arduino Pro Micro before. One way you can do is resetting the Arduino Pro Micro by shorting these two pins. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Maybe you put a reset button on the PCB and you can just press the button on the PCB, but I'm going to do this here. Okay, I just reset my Arduino. Now we go to the editor click on firmware update, download the firmware updater, then we need to download the latest firmware. And now with the firmware updater, we can choose the firmware we just downloaded, which is this firmware.hacks and click update. Also, he also advises to do a factory reset after updating to the new firmware. So to do a factory reset, disconnect the USB cable, press and hold the up button, connect the USB device while still pressing the, the button, wait four to five seconds and release the button. You should see that animation, which we saw, and that's it, we just updated the new firmware and now let's see if the editor works. Yeah, it's here. So we can actually now change whatever you want here. So, so let's say our first knob, you can change between control change, high resolution control change, dual control change, RPN and NRPN. You can also invert the value of the knob instead of going from the minimum to the maximum it can go from the maximum to the minimum you can use the global channel which is the one here or you can assign a specific channel to that knob and here you choose which control number you want from that knob and here i believe if you press update you're going to update your controller or if you press sync i guess that this will read uh, the preset that is stored in your controller we will show you here and you can also load presets from your computer or save those presets in your computer. So that's it guys, tell me in the comments below what did you think about it? I really liked it, I loved the PCB and I loved the aluminum faceplate. 
Uh, as I mentioned, I didn't get the enclosure, but if you get, you can get like a really super beautiful, high quality walnut enclosure, or you can design and build your own enclosure. Actually, right now, I'm not even using the enclosure and it's already good. Like, if you're not taking to the stage, it's already working pretty well like this, but it will get a lot with a new enclosure. And as promised, Chic is giving 5% off discount to the Nerd Musician followers, which will only last a week from the release date of this video. So get one while there's time. Link in the description. But if you are a Nerd Musician student, you can get actually 10% off anytime you want. And speaking of it, Shiko is a veteran coder, so he was halfway through on building his controller. But if you also want to build your controller and have no idea how to start, or you even already started but is having problems and you don't know how to add other things to your controller or even solve problems, please make yourself a favor and check the Nerd Musician Pro course. The only course that teaches from A to Z on how to build MIDI controllers. There I will teach you how to use Arduinos, how you can adapt my code to use buttons, potentiometers, encoders, motorized faders, LEDs and so much more. And I also have classes on how you can write your own code and understand other people's code. And I also teach how you can design and manufacture your own printed circuit boards. Plus a community with hundreds of other students and me to help you with your doubts. Link in the description too. And my friend, press that subscribe button to help me with the YouTube algorithms. And press like too. So now I'll leave you with a small performance I did with this guy here. Ciao.